everybody welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this beautiful fingerless gloves and it is a different um way than the tutorials that i've posted in the past this one is made row by row instead of in rounds i don't know if you guys can tell it's made in rows so yeah that's what we're going to be doing today obviously going to be making the other side and i have this yarn right here from um the Joann's brand, Big Twist. And then this is also from Big Twist. So I have these two colors here and I'm literally so scared because I feel like this is not gonna be enough. So what I'm gonna do is, um, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go with it. Hopefully it's enough. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. You wanna obviously have your hook ready, have my hook right here, and then some um, scissors. And then you'll also need some yarn needles and then also, yeah, that's about it. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, to start off, first we're going to make a slip knot just like this and pull on it. So after we make the slip knot, we're going to chain 36 and that's the length from here to here so i like 36 that's a nice length for me you guys can adjust this part if you want it to be longer if you want it to be shorter just you know do whatever you want to do but for this pattern or the way that i'm making mine is 36 chains Okay, so I just did the 36 chains right here. Like I said earlier, you guys can make it shorter or longer. It just depends on what you prefer. And now we're going to start working in the back loop. So if you guys see these two loops here, normally we would crochet into the stitch or right into the chain. Um, and by the way, we're doing half double crochets, which is yarn over, pull through three. Um, anyways, we're going to go into the back loop, which I like to call the third loop. So you're going to turn your chain around. And then there's this little loop right here and you want to do this a little loose because we're going to um, be slip stitching into those same stitches at the end but anyways we're gonna do half double crochets all the way to the end of this row and yeah you want to go ahead and do that all the way down and you'll have a total of 35 um, half double crochets since we we skipped the first chain so yeah you'll have 35 half double crochets all right so i'm on to the last half double crochet for the first row and at the end of each row we're going to chain one turn and then we're just going to half double crochet all the way across multiple times until it fits around your fingers and your wrist and the amount of rows that i did was 22 so you guys can do 22 and see if it'll fit your um around your hands and your wrist and if you need more you can add more rows or if you need less you'll do less rows so go ahead and do this until you have a total of 22 or more rows and I'll show you guys what to do next. Okay, you guys, so I just completed my 25 rows and if I fold it over, this is what will fit on my hand. You guys can see and um, if you haven't um, been able to tell already, I got these two stitch markers, which is basically for the thumb space, and we'll get to that. But yeah, I just reached my 22 rows. You guys can do more or less again. And this is what I was afraid of. I thought I was going to have enough, but clearly I have enough. And I made sure to keep the tag inside so I can remember the exact color if I wanted to get more. But anyways, now we're going to slip stitch our um, hand warmer and the way we're gonna do it is we are going to fold it over obviously and we are going to 
slip stitch seven first. So we're gonna do seven slip stitches and the way that I wanna do mine is you wanna chain one first. You want to go into the back loop and then go into the front loop of the other side. Just like that. Back loop and front loop of the other side. So you wanna do this seven times. So that's the second one, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and then seventh slip stitch. Now that we've done seven slip stitches, now we're going to do six dip, uh, slip stitches but we're only going to do it on one side so you're going to do on the side that's closest to you you're going to do six slip stitches on that side so you're just going to do one two three four five and six so now that you've done six slip stitches this is the space for your thumb now you're going to connect it to the other side make sure it's also six on the other side when you connect it so we're going to count six on the other side one two three four five six and then on the seventh one you're going to do your regular slip, uh, slip stitches that i was showing you guys so back loop and then front loop so now we have a hole open for our thumb and this is also adjustable if you need it to be a little bit bigger for your thumb you can definitely make it bigger but for this one I'm making it six because that's the perfect size for my thumb now for the remaining stitches you're gonna just repeat what we were doing back loop of the one facing you and then front loop of the other side and yeah, just continue this until you get all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna complete my last slip stitch and then I'm gonna chain one. I'm gonna cut this much and then I'm just gonna weave the ends through really quickly. All right, I just weaved in my ends, finished doing the sides. Now you're gonna try it on to see if it's good, if you need to adjust something. You probably should have did this before you cut your ends off, but perfect for me. I love it. I'm gonna take these stitch markers out because I don't need them anymore. And you're gonna flip this um, the right way, basically. <laughs> So we don't see the seams and this is what it should look like. Now we're gonna start working on this part of the hand warmers for the thumbs. We're going to get our yarn, make a little slip knot. We're going to put our hook through the first stitch right here. And then we're going to chain one. So I just chained one and then I'm gonna also make a half double crochet inside that same stitch that I just chained one in. I'm gonna crochet around until I have a total of 12 because remember I left six stitches for the thumb on both sides. So I'm gonna go around until I have a total of 12. And yeah, so go ahead and do that. So, um, if you guys run into the issue where there's too many like spaces in between, you're just gonna decrease it and turn it into one stitch. So, for example, if you had a random space here, you're gonna go into that space and then go into the actual stitch until you have a total of 12. Just, you know, make sure you have 12 or the same amount that you left open for the thumb. Now we're going to slip stitch to join. And then we're going to half double crochet around for two more rows for a total of three rows. So I finished the thumb hole as you guys can see and I want to try it on so you guys can see what it looks like. Next what we're going to do is start working on these little shells but before we do that we're going to do one row of single crochet 
on the top and the bottom so we're gonna start at the bottom or the top whatever is easiest for you so you want to get your next color here and make a slip knot and then we're going to connect the yarn at a random spot and the amount of single crochets that you should have is matching the amount of rows that you did so since I had 22 rows I did a total of 22 single crochets and the way that you are able to do that evenly is you just make sure you do a single crochet in every row in between every row so this is one row here I'm gonna do a single crochet at the end of that row and then this is another row I'm gonna do a single crochet at the end of that row so repeat that around evenly again this is the end of one row and I'm going to do a single crochet at the end of that row um, but yeah make sure you guys just have the same amount of single crochets as you do to match your rows that you did and yeah I'm gonna show you guys what to do next 21 and 22 so I'm going to slip stitch to join and then chain one this is what it should look like next we're gonna start working on the shells which is really easy all we're gonna do is chain a total of two so we have two chains here at that stitch we're going to put three double crochets one two and three then at the next stitch we're gonna do a single crochet so this is our first shell we should have a total of 11 shells I'm gonna show you guys how to do the shell one more time three double crochets inside the next stitch one two three and then at the next stitch we're going to single crochet so you guys want to repeat this pattern all the way around until you have a total of 11 shells I'm gonna end with a single crochet and this will probably be different depending on how many rows you did I'm pretty sure if you have even numbers of the amount of rows you did you'll end with a single crochet but yeah it doesn't really matter as y'all can see I just put it through a random stitch and now I'm going to weave the rest in complete with the bottom row of shells you're gonna repeat exactly what you did here at the top it's nothing different about it just you know do your single crochets evenly and then do your shells on top of the shingle crochets the shingle I meant the single crochets and yeah you'll be done okay you guys so we are done this is what it should look like really cute you guys comment below some different adjectives or I don't even know what word I'm supposed to come up with that describes these I always say cute and I'm trying to break from the shackles of the word cute so yeah that's what they look like I really love how they look I was about to say cute again super stylish for the winter I'm gonna be making a whole bunch of colors of these let me know if you guys make them and if you do tag me on um, Instagram but yeah all my stuff is linked down below hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial let me know what you guys want to see next and I will see you guys in my next video peace